So a few weeks ago, uh, for some of my Venus research, I was looking at atmospheric data from a monitoring station next to Mauna Kea, where my telescopes are, and it was all gone. The Trump administration has brought the hammer down on agencies that collect data on Earth's atmosphere. This is a problem not only for climate scientists and for anyone who appreciates our ability to predict the weather, but also for astrophysicists who need atmospheric data to accurately observe other planets, including Mars, which is Elon Musk's personal property. Property. Sorry, um, personal favorite. I panicked a little bit and I contacted my colleagues who are climate scientists and they were finding the same thing that lots of data was missing, specifically all the CO2 data was missing. So then I reached out to my colleagues who use EPA data and then that was also missing. So I realized the problem wasn't so much the type of data perhaps, but whether it was maintained through federal funds. Breaking something takes one person who doesn't need the qualification in anything scientific, but fixing it requires scientists. Scientists, they have fired. So unless George is planning to hire a 10 to 100 climate scientists and astrophysicists to replace every single one of their Doge workers who killed the databases, um, this data is lost. While Musk is slashing public budgets left and right, he's trying to find more money for private contracts for his own companies, Starlink and SpaceX. Musk would argue that private companies can do things the government does, like collecting data on space, more efficiently. If they happen to be his own companies, that is neither here nor there. The beauty of the data as it was, is that it was federally funded access. And so any scientist in the US and beyond could use it and make models and then compare models when they were inevitably in conflict. That's how science progresses. If you privatize it, you also privatize that data and that data's access. You're just going to have worse scientific outcomes. It's um, bad science.